Hey everybody. So I'm back from Cisco Live with some new ideas and I had this wonderful conversation about possibly running LLMs or SLMs, large and small language models, as microservices. Now, since I've already had some great success with Docker and Olama, I've taken this on. So what I have is kind of like an AI jukebox where I can prompt it and I can, in my code, presently round robin my prompt through eight discrete microservices, each running their own LLM or SLM. Now, why would I want to do this? Well, just right off the bat for general usage, now I'm getting eight diverse answers from eight totally different AIs, different models trained with different data sets from different open source providers. The other thing is maybe for RAG or Raptor, or if I want to do retrieval, I can now actually loop over eight different AIs and again, get their perspectives on those documents or JSON data or what have you. So let's take a look at how this works and let's watch it in action. All right, so I'm on my good friend Dave Zax's frag box and we're inside of the Kubernetes extension for VS Code. I'm using WSL Ubuntu and Docker Desktop's Kubernetes capability. So if we look under my nodes, um, you can see I have this Olama pod and I have all of these different pods. We're actually going to look under workloads, pods, and we can see I have nine containers running inside of this Olama pod. The only other thing that I've set up is a load balancing service for my pods. And I've also set up an Nginx front end for my pod. So it's really three simple files, my Nginx config, my Olama pod, and my Olama service for the load balancer. Now I have this Python script that's going to loop over the various AIs by name, and we're going to send the prompt, why is the sky blue? Now before I do that, I'm going to go back into the Docker world and just show you what these containers look like. So in Docker, inside of my Kubernetes pod, I have various containers hosting different models. Now these are actually loading inside of this GPU. If I go to the top here, you can see that it's detected the GPU. And I have 24 gigs available to me. So, you know, each pod is unique in that they're running a different model from Olama. So I'm going to show you running the code and looking at the resources. So this is a good way, one, to test inference against different models, which ones are better, which ones are worse, the answers do you prefer, what is the style of the answer, as well as how much resource each LLM or SLM is using on the back end. So let's fire the script, and I'll bring this up to the top here, and we're going to start looking at the resources. So you can see immediately the GPU is going to spike and the VRAM is going to start to climb. Now in your API call, you can set a timeout value, which will immediately release the memory as soon as the question has been answered. So you can see the memory is going to plateau, run for a while, collapse down to zero, plateau again. And you can see the GPU spikes, and we can actually start doing some rough comparisons here as to which model is in the GPU longer or spikes higher or pins the resources or how much memory each is going to use. The other thing is we can start to look at some of these answers, right? So here's the answer from Gemma. Guys, blue due to two main reasons, galley scattering and atmospheric absorption. Here's the Aya answer. Here's the Llama 3 answer. Here's the Mistral answer. And here comes the Gwen 2 answer and we're going to get more and more answers, all eight AIs. Now here's Yi, and here's Phi 3, and I think I finish up with Tiny Llama, right? So it's pretty interesting, some of these diverse answers. I'm not going to read all this text to you, but I was more showing you the capability of running the AI, SLMs and LLMs as a microservices inside of Kubernetes. Much more to come on this. Thank you.